Right, this is question eight from paper two, 2023, A-level series. It is an application question all about the fight or flight response. As you can see, we are given a little stem about somebody who falls off their bike and their body goes into fight or flight. Okay, you have a little bit of information about how the fight or flight affects him, his heart's pounding, his mouth dry, and so on and so on. The question is a six marker. It's outline the fight or flight response and use this to explain the experiences of Xavier. Okay, now it is six marks, which means that we're going to be expecting a certain degree of detail. The question phrasing, outline and explain suggests that we are looking for three marks of AO1, so three marks of description or outline, and three marks of AO2, which is the application. Okay, So a certain degree of your answer has to go into actually outlining the fight or flight response, and then the second bit goes into applying it to the stem. So if you want to have a go at this question, pause it now, and we'll have a look at the model answer. So my first paragraph is my outline paragraph. Okay, so the fight or flight response is the body's primary stress response. Okay, when a threat is detected, the hypothalamus activates the sympathetic nervous system, which stimulates the adrenal gland to release adrenaline into the bloodstream. Okay, so we have two marks there. The first one for identifying fight or flight as a stress response, and then another bit for the sympathetic nervous system and the release of adrenaline into the bloodstream. And then one final mark for the outline, the adrenaline results in physiological changes, such as increased heart rate, rapid breathing, and the inhibition of non-essential bodily functions, which is effectively your body preparing for fight or flight. And that's your third mark. When I've chosen the physiological changes to talk about, I've kind of tried to choose the ones that link into Xavier a little bit because I know that later on when I then apply, I'm going to be linking back to that. Okay, so there are my first three marks. So moving on, we now have the application. In Xavier's case, the adrenaline released caused his heart to pound and his mouth to dry up and his hands to shake. Okay, so we have a little bit there. The adrenaline is also likely to have inhibited digestion, which is why he felt sick. Right, so this is my link to the bit that I said earlier. Adrenaline inhibits non-essential functions. Digestion is an example of one of those functions that may have been inhibited, and we link it into the fact that he didn't feel well at the time. And then scrolling onto the next page, because this question spans two pages, after the threat has passed, his parasympathetic nervous system works to restore his body to its natural resting state, and that explains why it took 20 minutes for him to feel relaxed again. And there is your third mark. Okay, you've kind of got a little bit of outline and application in that bit because we didn't really talk about the parasympathetic nervous system in the first paragraph, but it doesn't matter. We're still linking it in to Xavier's experiences and the fact that it took him 20 minutes to feel normal again or to feel relaxed again. Okay, so there is your third application mark. I hope that's been useful. Thank you very much for watching.